Johnny Nick asked, he said, do you ever hunt bottoms in the mornings? Can you like kind of go over how you decide where, where you're going to hunt? Because people are thinking about mountain bucks with you or hill country, you know, like out in Ohio. Um, how do you decide? Oh, yeah, bottoms low or high or? Definitely bottoms. The deer, I mean, if you got a food source higher elevation and he's going to, a lot of these deer will retreat around daylight or before daylight down to the bottoms, even though the, like with the thermals at their back. You know what I mean? Like it's nighttime. It's still pulling maybe down a drain. Cause to me that they, they feel that's safe down there and they haven't probably, you know, you got a five, six year old animal that re retreats down to this drain from a cut. Maybe the first two weeks of October. And every time he went down in there, he's never smelled, seen anyone, you know, so he's, he's never been shocked. So a lot of these deer I find, will drop down in these drains with the thermals at their back, you know, before daylight, first couple hours of daylight, maybe they're hung over in the, in the food plot or the uh, clear cut and they get, they're like, ah, I'll just hang them. Maybe they get here where the parking spot is. They'll just chill there. And then they know it's safe down there. And I call it those safe areas. You know, that's where they were trained to the safe area. And so, yes, like a lot of my hunts are going to be mornings, in these bottoms where they're retreating, you know, to, you know, bed for the day. Um, I feel like that's, that's a good chance. Like, like that's what these deer are doing. I mean, they're all going down with the thermals to their back, you know? Um, and then as far that that's morning hunt, you know, then as far as an evening, I mean, you can maybe hunt down there and you just got to get parallel with him. You know what I mean? You just make sure he's not lower than you, you know, um, if it's like, I'm thinking of a North South stream, uh, and, and, if, and it would be like a East slope going down there that a deer retreats down. And like in the evening, I would try to, you know, the creeks, the bottom, you know, either be in the Creek, or, you know, somewhere right above it to where you can maybe catch him going back up the hill or something for the evening or, or moving about, you know what I mean? Um, the chances are he's going to be heading back up to that cut in the evening, you know, but um, yeah, definitely hunt, hunt the bottoms. I mean, and I think it's mid midday, sometimes in the bottoms, the wind can pick up in the thermals and shit can swirl. Oh, when yeah. you got that early, early morning and the thermals are just everything's just dropping cool you know it's it's there's no wind you can hunt down in there you know what i mean but you get into um the midday and it swirls and, and thermals and this and that then they'll they'll be down there so the very bottom when you get different points or fingers coming together you know might mess you up when you get a wind you know, uh, um, but yeah, definitely button and bottoms, you know, for sure. Yeah. I think whenever you're going into spots in the morning, your biggest challenge is like, you, you got to make sure you're accessing properly too. You know what I mean? You don't want to yeah, access to the bottom. So the ones in these spots, yeah, definitely. So the road runs North and South and you got cuts on the East side and that, it's just a road that goes straight for a long ways and a car's a 50 mile an hour and a buck, you can hear him coming. You know, you basically, you got to park up the road a mile, maybe a mountain bike down around the backside and cut down into that Creek. And then you're good because of the danger is near the road. And he's not expecting a danger down in a safe area in a Creek. And he'll just, he'll just get up and head down there and boom, there you are. Now, if you park within earshot of him, slam the door, you know, you get into October hunting season, he's, he's ready, man. He's going to be, he might retreat down in there earlier. So, and, but then individuals, deer are different too. I say that because maybe a younger two year old or yearling or doe probably don't really think about it. But when you get into the five year old range, he's going to be tuned into that for sure. You know, and then not, and, and pay attention to, you know, your access. It's always the hard way in that's going to be the right way.